Hey, what is going on? It's Adam here with Retro Repairs and time for another video. So I literally just got back from a local Facebook buy and sell pickup and I want to show you what I've got here. We're going to take a look at this, check out the condition, um, do some testing and as necessary, maybe some uh, repairs. So give you a little spoiler at the beginning. Nintendo console plus games. So this cost me, this whole box cost me 10 bucks Canadian. So I don't know if we just for exchange, what does that work out to be? 75, 750 US, something like that. So <clears throat> eight bucks US, I don't know. Not a lot of money. Let's put it that way. And especially when you take a look at what's actually in here. So for 10 bucks, oh, we got a console in here. That's cool. Um, so I bought this as listed as 31 games. Um, they didn't give any indication whether it works. When I picked this up, the guy said he had this in his shed and it was the box that didn't fit in the garbage. Um, I couldn't bring myself to ask what he threw away because I, I heard a good uh, piece of advice. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. I don't want to hear that he's thrown away like a Super Nintendo bundle with Earthbound and other expensive games in there. So managed to save this one anyways and let's uh let's take a look at some of these so um well Mega Man like these aren't cheap games for 10 bucks it's not like it's full of duck hunts um we're getting quality games here so let's see let's check out the condition Mega Man 6 looks like it's in great shape it's kind of hard to tell but the pins look excellent the inside the slot doesn't look dusty at all so this is clearly, if the guy that I bought this off of, uh, he didn't look overly old. I'm going to say late 40s, maybe. I'm wondering if this was maybe his system he had as a kid and actually took care of his stuff. Or could have been, I don't know, could have been his kids, I guess. But they'd be kind of young for NES stuff. Mega Man 3. I don't know. It all looks really good. Mega Man 2. So I'm not sure if you can pick this up. It's not showing on camera. There's a little bit of moisture, it looks like, on the shell. Um, but these are all cold. So I think that's just condensation, as this was probably sitting in his shed or his attic or something uh, for years. Um, and, I mean, ideally, it's not ideal for games like this. But, yeah, there's some more example of some condensation just on the shell. The box itself doesn't show any signs of liquid damage. The labels aren't messed up. So... I'm not worried about this having gotten wet, but um, I do want to let this kind of get up to temperature before I handle them too much. But Zelda 2, I mean, that's in almost flaw, well, the back's kind of scratched, but that's in great condition. And it's nice that these all have the uh, little protective sleeves on it too. Let's give it the old sniff test. Doesn't smell like smoke. Hopefully didn't just inhale a bunch of COVID. No, I'm good. Um, Chrysalis. The old, uh, uh, the gold label indicating that there's batteries in there. So I'm curious on the condition of the batteries. I'm going to gonna have to crack a couple of these open to uh, check on that. Final Fantasy. Monopoly. I mean, the nice thing is most of these, I mean, so far all of them, don't really have stickers on them and writing on the back and stuff like that. Um, which is a nice change. Oh, as I say that, literally as I say that, there is stickers and writing. Bandito Video. Wow. Bandito Video is an old uh, video rental store. So that brings you back. Qbert. Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. So I got a couple copies of that. I always like having a lot of copies of Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Um, so pro tip, if you are looking to put together a Nintendo bundle for sale, get a copy of Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. It should cost you more, no more than five bucks. Get a gun, get a controller. Makes a great bundle. People love that. 
little Metroid. Some Tecmo World Wrestling. All right. <clears throat> so check this out. Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warrior 2, Warrior 3, and Dragon Warrior 4. I could be wrong. I'm I'd have to go look, but I'm fairly sure 3 and 4 are worth a fair bit of money. I'm curious what they run for now, but definitely getting my $10 worth here. And again, more van Bandito video. Uh, but what I was going to say, again, these are all in great condition, which is wild, especially for a rental game. Um, you'd expect the labels to be all hacked up and whatever, but they're in excellent shape. Yeah, old mag strips so that you don't steal it. It's like they just bought out Bandito Video. So, I mean, every bundle of games is going to have their filler games, but... There's enough quality titles in here that this makes it an awesome pickup. I'm very happy with this so far. So this is a good example of just your typical plastic yellowing. You can see the difference in the shells between the front and the back. Um, this isn't smoke damage or anything like that. The guy wasn't necessarily a big smoker, but just the different formulas of the plastic over time cause it to color a little bit and there's really nothing you can do to prevent it. There are things you can do to try and restore the color. They may or may not work extremely well. Top secret episode. Another Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Again, can never have too many of those. And Rolling Thunder. So that's all of the 31 cartridges. Now let's check out the system here. So again, this is a good example of a little bit of a yellowing system. You can see the front. I don't know if you can really tell that on the camera, but the back doesn't look too bad. The front is definitely more yellow, and that's because... This was probably sitting in someone's entertainment unit for years, and the UV just gets at the front of it, turns it a little yellow. Again, really nothing you can do about that. Some systems are prone to it, some are not. Um, and it's just luck of the draw. And again, you can see that condensation there. So I'm not going to plug any of these in until these have a chance to acclimate to the warmer temperatures in my house and that condensation stops but I mean these all look in great condition all the parts are there there's no cracks there's no I mean there's stickers but that's not a big deal and I kind of like it. it adds a little bit of character to it but all the labels are in great shape everything's just in excellent condition so I'm gonna leave these for a little bit let them uh, get warm come up to room temperature and then we're going to take a look and see what we've got here. Whether these work or not, I, I have no idea. Um, I'm betting they do, but we might need to do a little tinkering with these uh, these uh, cartridge connectors. But we'll find out. All right, so we're going to test out those two consoles that came in this bundle. So I have their for ease of identification. There's the one with all the decals on it. And then the one that's pretty plain looking. Um, as a control, I'm going to use my NES console, which has a blinking light win installed with it, so I do not have any issues with actually starting up games. But I got a couple games that I like to use to test consoles. So I have a copy of Tecmo Bowl, and I use this because I know that this game boots every single time as long as I get somewhat of a decent connection. It's very good at starting up. I use this because I know it works. And this is not so good at starting up. I find that Super Mario Brothers 3 has seems to have a slightly smaller um, board inside of it, so you need a tighter grip in order for it to boot up regularly. And then, um, yeah, so let's get started. 
Just gonna show that this works. Let's throw Super Mario Brothers 3 in here. Just do a quick test. So, so far so good. And same thing with Tecmo Bowl. Good to go. So, let's uh, swap it out. So we're going to start with the unmarked one first. And let's see if this does the trick. Alright, so it's all hooked up. We're going to start out with... Oops. Tecmo Bowl. And we have the typical blinking connector, which is not uncommon, especially if this hasn't been used in a while. We might have a poor cartridge connector. Flashing pink, yeah. Oh, kind of works. If I apply some pressure to the side, I can get it to start. So that's telling me that this is bad cartridge connector, but otherwise the console is probably fine. There we go, a little bit of little issues with the graphics, but seems to otherwise work. So this one we can chalk up as need to clean or replace the cartridge connector. And let's try the same thing with one with all these decals on it. So again, starting with Tecmo Bowl. This one feels pretty loose, so I'll be surprised if this works. Nope. No go. Let's try a couple little resets. Well, we have a solid black light or red light. For fun, we'll try Super Mario, but I got no illusions of that working. No. All right, so this one can't quite get working. Probably need to address that cartridge connector. Um, possible that there's more at play here, but I'm going to start with the cartridge connector. This one definitely just needs a new cartridge connector, and then it seems like it should be good to go. Um, so we are going to get into that. I'm going to make that a separate video for this. Um, what I do want to do is check out all of these cartridges that came in this bundle. So I'm going to grab that box or that stack of cartridges and then we'll try them out one by one on my system. I'll give them a slight clean first and then uh, test them. See what works, see what doesn't. All right, so I'm going to work through these one by one. Um, might speed through some of them, but I want to explain to you what it is that I'm doing first. So in this little yogurt cup, I have some isopropyl alcohol, and I've got my Q-tips. Every one of these cartridges, I'm going to give the pins a little wipe down with the alcohol first. Just like that. See what comes out of it. These aren't all pretty much excellent conditions, so I doubt there's going to be too much, but I want to make sure they're just clean before they go into my system. Then, toss her in, see what happens. Should put the uh, audio and video cable on the right way. Alright, so Zelda 2 Adventures of Link seems to work great and in excellent condition. So I'm going to put that in my good pile. And moving on, Mega Man 2. So again, excellent condition. Let's do the same sort of thing. Getting a little dirty coming out of there. Not too bad. Oh yeah, that one's pretty dirty. So we're going to try that again. We want to get these Q-tips coming out relatively clean. I'm doing this ahead of time as I just don't want to 
gunk up my Nintendo. Okay, let's see what we got. So far, so good. Two for two. Mega Man 3. Mega Man 4. So far, so good. Now, one thing that I just thought of that I want to go back and double check is whether or not these cartridges actually can save a game on them. So, anything that has these gold labels on the back it's going to have a battery inside. Now these batteries definitely have a lifespan. So I want to boot up Zelda again. Just see if I can pull a save off it. There is no save. So that tells me that odds are... So we'll take it out of the power, let it just sit for a second, start it up again, and see if that save is there. If it's gone, that tells me that the battery is for sure dead. If it's there, it doesn't tell me that it's not dead, it tells me that it has at least a tiny bit of life left. But, and it's there, so there might be something there, but probably a good idea to replace this battery anyways. But. We know that it's not completely shot, so battery hasn't exploded or anything, um, so it's not in dire need just yet. Mega Man 6. Not bad. Again, so far so good with all of these. As I suspected though, I mean, all of these were in excellent condition, so whoever owned these Clearly took care of their stuff, which is great to see. Duck Hunt. One thing I did want to show you. Um, not sure if everyone knows about these or if this even comes through in the video. Hopefully it does. Um, there are some different labels, as you can see. So um, this one, the Duck Hunt's a little cut off at the bottom. And if you look real close, there's actually some almost a blue tinge around the edges here and then black around these icons. Whereas this version, which I'm assuming is newer, um, is fully black and it um, has a little bit better, I'm gonna say a better looking label on it. So there are different variations, different revisions. They both say Reve, but I'm not sure exactly. I don't know 100% which is which, but I um, just want to kind of point that out that there are definitely different versions of the same games. Look at that one. Duck Hunt, good. Other Duck Hunt. Uh, I didn't clean that, but it's still good. Duck Hunt number three. This one feels a little dirtier. And it is. Sometimes you can actually feel like just the pins grabbing the Q-tip, and that tells you that you're going to have to do a little bit of scrubbing. Definitely, like, see how dark that came out? That's Those are some dirty pins. Not necessarily dirty as in, like, d dusty per se, just dirty. There is oxidation on those pins, and it's just going to give you a hard time getting a good, consistent boot up. Hubert. Uh, 
These ones feel really clean. Not much there, a little green though. Let's see what's on the other side. These ones feel a bit dirtier. A little bit there, nothing crazy. Booting up no problem. I want to dip into the Dragon Warriors here. Dragon Warrior 4. So I did go and uh, look this up. I've seen this this game selling loose on eBay um, for 125 Canadian. So um, pretty, I guess, uncommon game, that's for sure. Definitely one I don't have, but no, well, it's in there already. And it boots up. Great. One I definitely don't have and I'm going to be keeping, but um, if I were reselling all of these, I mean, I... Well, easily made up the 10 bucks I spent, but there's quite a bit of value in this bundle of games. Dragon Warrior 3, again, a fairly uncommon game. These ones sell for about 60, 70 bucks Canadian. Again, gold label. We actually set all these Dragon Warriors aside. The gold label does mean... Um, that there's a battery inside, so it is capable of maintaining a safe state. Cool. Dragon Warrior 2. Doesn't sell for as much, but still, good game. This one's got a little crusties on the bottom. So maybe they're eating cheeseburgers or something, who knows. And the original Dragon Warrior. Again, gold label. I'm gonna set these aside just so that I can test those batteries. I'm gonna use my multimeter to test all them, so I'm gonna open them up and give them a test. Dragon Warrior. Cool. Battle Toads. Oddly enough, game I don't own, so glad I was able to get that as part of the bundle. Um, this one resells for a decent amount, nothing crazy, like not even like 100 bucks like uh, Dragon Warrior 4, but still $40, $50 game. Ooh, that came out pretty dirty. Just gonna go from this pile just so it doesn't tip over. And Bomberman, the original Bomberman, I think. I assume that's the same franchise. If it is the same franchise, the character on the front really looks nothing like Bomberman that we're used to, but it's always interesting to see some of these original early versions of some of the current, well, more current games. Just want to see. Oh yeah, same Bomberman. Cool. Rolling Thunder by Tengen. Um, yeah, so this is a third-party unlicensed game, hence the different... Uh, cartridge shell for it so let's clean that up double checker oh, that's tricky to get out though there we go blaster master That's seizure inducing.
This one here, Bubble Bobble. Um, actually a game I also don't own. Um, not sure if that has much resale value. I imagine it's probably worth 30 bucks or so. But, good game to add to the collection. Might and Magic. Another gold label game, so that's going to be a battery I'm going to want to check out. Golgo 13. Gologo? Golgo. No, no second O. Golgo 13. Never played that. A little dirty. Quite dirty. Here we have Othello. Oddly enough, I have Othello for the Famicom Disk System. I wonder if it's the same game or not. I don't know. Seems to be good. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed that these all work. Um, part of me likes getting some things that I can work on, try and fix. Um, I have those consoles still, so that's at least some silver lining, but, you know, I like a little adventure in my eyes. Dr. Mario, good to go. Bart Simpson, or The Simpsons, Bart vs. The World. Not too bad. Sorry, that one is Bionic Commando, and it boots. Monopoly. The nice thing about uh, NES Monopoly is, I mean, your partners don't cheat. At least I assume. I've never played this version, so maybe they somehow enable cheating. I don't know. Final Fantasy. Another gold label, so we got a battery in this. So we are going to want to check out those batteries after this. I might just do a video where I go ahead and replace, what do I got here, six games, one, two, three, four, five, six, where I replace all of these batteries. Um, I don't know, would you watch six battery replacements in one video and I try and keep it fairly quick? Leave me a comment, let me know in the comments below. Chrysalis, another battery, so... Adding to that battery replacement video, but again, leave it in the comments below if you want to see that video. I'll try and, uh, I might just make that a dedicated battery replacement video. Mm -hmm. 
Super Mario Brothers 3. Always a classic. Let's see what we've got here. Wheel of Fortune, Family Edition, based on the number one hit TV show. Pretty clean. Yep. It's quite the intro music. It seems like you should be playing some sort of RPG, I think. Tecmo World Wrestling. Let's see what we've got. I'm just curious. Assuming this is not a licensed wrestling game. El Tigre. And last but not least, the classic Metroid. And we're good to go. So, all 31 of these games works. Let's just throw these back up here. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought there was seven. I'll have to go back and double check. Six plus that I need to address the battery on. So, um, if you want to see me just make a video dedicated to doing batteries on these, leave it in the comment section below. Let me know. Um, if people want to see that, I'll do it. If not, I'll do one. Well, that's going to be it for this video. This is really just a opening and testing. Um, I now know that I've got a couple of jobs to do with these NES consoles, so that's going to be part two. I'm going to show you how to try and refurbish one of these, um, one of these pin connectors and hopefully get your NES console up and running. And this guy, no idea what the problem is, didn't boot up at all. Um, could just be that pin connector again, it felt really loose, but there could be more at play, so we're gonna have to dive into that and try and find out what the problem is. But until then, that's all I've got for today. So thanks a lot for watching, leave me comments below, let me know what you think. Um, if you wanna see something specific, also let me know, and let me know, would you watch me replace six batteries in one video. I don't know. Seems like a lot. People might like it. Who knows? Let me know your thoughts. And uh, until next time, thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like that video, and we'll see you next video.